Hey guys, so here we are on Westbridge. Um, just finished up modeling <clears throat> my new 6R and scripting everything on it. Uh, the loader, bucket, viable wheels, and so on and so forth. Um, really want to uh, test out this loader. Uh, scripted it like the in-game uh, loaders. Um, and it works really, really well, actually. So we're going to practice loading and unloading. So emptied out these tenders here. So we'll just hop in this truck and practice uh, using our loader for a bit. Go ahead and fold up our pipe on our meridian. Hop back in our 6R. This is uh, H380, um, and this is a 108 inch, uh, built it to 108 inches uh, construction bucket with um, grapple. Um, has the collision so you can actually use the grapple and everything. Pick up logs. Um, has all the interactive controls, uh, indoor sound when you open and close doors and windows. Um, has the monitor that turns on and off with the animations, which is a nice little feature. And then, um, working, and then we can turn on our lights, and that turns on the emissive, uh, decals for at night. Um... As the working window, what else does it have? Passenger seat also has the folding um, lights, and then up here has the uh, folding visor. Anyways. Uh, uh, built uh, pretty detailed back here, um, just to give it a little bit more fill. It has the uh, pa uh, panoramic roof, which works really well um, um, for this loader work. So we'll just putz on over. Take a big scoop of this. So this is scripted like uh, the in-game loader. So it has a kind of level bucket on it. You can set it at a certain level that you want. And then it will stay at that level. And then it has a nice kind of uh, spring to it in all, all directions. And then you can work the grapple too with cylinders. If you're doing... Uh, any kind of grapple work. But we'll see if we can actually load up this larger seed tender. Kind of an awkward area to work in, but should be able to load that up fairly easy. So we got almost all of it, missed about one liter. I'll go ahead and take another big scoop. This also has a flexing front axle. So you can see the, 
I don't have the wheels um, cylinder scripted yet or the cylinders for the door and window. Those are to come. But you can actually add lines to the component. See, we're emptying out our fertilizer. Take another big scoop Probably work better if we just back up into here. Yeah, it works a lot better. This also uh, detaches outside the cab. So you have a nice stable loader bucket and then these um, rear duals, they're actually buyable. There we go. Was that the wrong one? And those come off. And then um, the I always have had issues with like three point hitches and things like that. So what would be a good thing to put on the three point? Probably a plow. Could probably rent this one. just to demonstrate the three points. It's not perfect, um, but it works pretty good. I also modeled up a front three point that I have. It's gonna be a separate tractor that um, you have to buy for the front um, three point, but the, uh, see I can't, I don't know why these cylinders kind of like flip at the very top doesn't make sense but I don't know it does the job I guess uh, three points gonna be another another thing to deal with Can actually unfold this. So 
So this thing is maxed out. If we go in the grass pulls, quite a bit easier. If we were to come over into this cultivated terrain, Pulls a little bit rougher, I think. Um, has calf suspension. And then it also has the seat suspension. So, both the cab and seat give you a little bit uh, more realistic ride of the roughness. Uh, it's nice to have a nice 6R though. Definitely a huge fan of the panel roof for loader work. And these big mirrors. Mirrors are awesome. It's, um, I've made a few different decals for it, but it's uh, a 6, um, a 6215. 215 horses. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.